Recently, one woman named Candace Marie Benbo went viral for the sweet <laughs> way she dealt with her nosy neighbor. What'd she do? Candace Candy. says that while she appreciates her neighbor blasting music because she's learned some new songs, she just can't have it happening at 3 a.m. She says that's the time she should be dreaming about the things Michael B. Jordan can do to her. <laughs> yes, girl! Well, well, well. You know? Well, well, well. Now, the noisy is a noisy neighbor. There okay, now. okay. You know, she's not listening to him playing Maxwell's Ascension. <gasps> okay. Now, since Candace was up at 3 a.m. because of her neighbor's music, she decided to put it all in a letter, bake him a pound cake, Aww. and leave it on his doorstep. Well, oh Candace God. says prayer and pound cake work because not only did her neighbor Tommy lower his music and apologize, the two became friends Ooh. and he even invited her over for his next party. See yes. that? I so love that story so much. much. Don't you like that in. story, lady? That's that a feel so good. Sweet. That's how you do it. Sometimes it's, it's nice to just, you know, because a lot of times if people are making noise, I remember when I was um, living in my condo one time, it was, it was, uh, I was on the top floor, so, you know, mm -hmm. I was always, I didn't know. Sometimes you don't know that you're making noise. And my um, neighbor would always take the broomstick. And, oh boom, 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 and I'm like, what yeah. is going on? Yeah. And I just, I, that just felt so, it would scare me, first of yeah. all. It would be rude. But I would have liked a pound cake and letter. And yeah, then, yeah, you know, yeah. I would have been more conscious. Yes. You would have happily walked lighter. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. You would have happily taken your heels off at the door. Yes. yes. I remember, did I tell you all that time? I heard my um, neighbors doing it. You oh. know, like, we shared a wall. Okay. And you did. You Wait, did was their it. bedroom the wall that you were sharing? Yes. Yeah, oh, my God. It was God. like the bedroom. So you, okay. so you got that headboard action. it was early action. in the morning. So I sent them a letter, but I didn't give them a pound cake. I should have <laughs> gave them a pound cake. Yeah, yes. you said you yeah. slipped the letter under the door saying you don't want to hear that. Yeah, but they kept on doing it because I didn't give them a pound cake. That's why. <laughs> They give yeah, you know. know. They give you this, kind of pound this cake. kind of happened to me. I I didn't bake a pound cake or give him a letter, but I was really nice to him. I, I was living in a in a condo, and I had just moved in, and I didn't understand the parking situation, and I had parked into his parking spot. And I remember this guy. He came knocking on my door, just like screaming all these curse words, and he was clearly upset, all red in the face. And I was like, Oh my! Hello, <laughs> hi. <laughs> How are you? How was your day going? I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to upset you. And no joke, you guys, his, his name is Peter Boudros. We are now friends, and he works for a department store that actually gave me a really cool deal. So we ended up working together. Oh, wow. So you gotta be careful on who you're mean to, yeah. and actually, you know, who you're kind to, because you never know, you might end up helping each other yeah. in, in, in the future. Now I so thought he was been calm friends. after? He was yeah, like... I calmed him down, because I literally was just like, yo, 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 stop. I, yeah. I didn't do this Did you do that? Uh, you said yo, yo, yo. I say yo, 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 yo. Okay. You hear me a lot say that on the All show. Right. But yeah, <laughs> and we're, we're, we're friends. He's not only yeah. friends with me, he's friends with my husband. That's and great. we've been cool. friends for like six, seven years. It I is think possible. That's a, that's it a is. really smart move to make. When you move into your neighborhood, love thy neighbor. It's in the freaking yeah. Bible. It's real talk. Like you're gonna live with those people. You never know when you might get locked out of your and house or an emergency. That's know true. your neighbors. My neighbors next door to me and across from me, CJ and Stephanie. I love you met. them. BJ and Kevin, they're my best friends for life because I came over. I didn't bring a pound cake, but I brought a <laughs> bottle of wine. And we there you go. I love my neighbors. I have the greatest neighbors as well.